Ladies and gentlemen, the time has finally come for the Bryant Bulldogs to defend their national title. Right now, they're going to be traveling to take on the 13th ranked Ball State Cardinals. They're a pretty good squad. Nice quarterback, 84 overall, Anderson. Uh, he's probably going to have a decent day here today. Uh, Ball State, 70 players on their team, so they are completely maxed out. They got that C rating for the overall of the team. Uh, their backup quarterback has an 80 overall. He's pretty good. But Avery Anderson, 34 touchdowns to only six interceptions in year one of the dynasty. Fantastic play. But the Bryant Bulldogs, defending champs, they have yet to lose so far in the series. And I like their chances. And so does everybody in the Discord pick them. Because there's been 26 votes for the Bulldogs and only three for Ball State. And right now is there is a big pass downfield. Tadian Moss deflects that one away. So three and out for Ball State. They had the ball for 14 seconds. Not looking so good for their offense. Here's Brandon Allen, number two in the Heisman voting last season. He gets 15 yards and a first down to start things off. Stark, the freshman quarterback, is in right now. He's going to throw the football. Hit as he throws. That ball hits the ground. That was four-star freshman Jason Stark. Montanez back in there. Rolling out left side, throws it up. Deep shot to Brandon Allen to the 21-yard line. He's touched the ball twice today and has 50 yards of offense. So very good player, and he'll probably be in the Heisman contention again. And here is Diego Martinez for his first career touchdown. That is three-star tight end, 70 overall. He's 6'6", 230 pounds, a huge target. His first career reception is for a score, and the Bryant Bulldogs are on top 7-0. Here's Lewis, left side, oh my goodness, Cy Summers with a thunderous hit. He did that all the time in his freshman year, and Ball State is struggling mightily on offense right now. Three and out again, Allen, another carry up the middle, dragging a defender, picks up around 18 yards, and he has been the majority of the offense here today, minus one Diego Martinez catch. They're down to seven, though. Stark is back in the game at quarterback. Rolling right side, takes off. No, he throws it. LJ Topher was wide open, going towards the right sideline for the first down. So Stark has his first career completion. Third down to four. Montanez is in there. He's going to be dropped for the sack back in his 24-yard line. Davis coming through on the blitz, his second career sack. And that will bring on the field goal unit 40-yard attempt. The kick is up, and it is good. It's so nice to see some kickers make some longer field goals and look at how close that one is folks my goodness made it by inches they're down to four here for the cardinals anderson left side wide open is bryant and he'll get it up to the 46 yard line of bryant first completion of the year for avery anderson lewis left side as the first down and more Cy summers tracks him down inside the 25 yard line of the Bulldogs. Second down and 20. Avery Anderson left side again. Tadian Moss gets beat and Pitts is all the way down to the 10 yard line. So Ball State getting their offense rolling here in the second quarter. Anderson right side wide open is Ginn. He beats Tatum the strong safety. Yeah, just a perfect corner route. He had too much speed for Tatum. And Stark is in at quarterback again here for the Bulldogs. Play action. He is sacked. No, he throws it, and it's picked off by Goff. Oh, my goodness. First career interception thrown from Jason Stark on just his third pass attempt. So a few of these rookie or freshman quarterbacks, excuse me, in this series uh, having some rough luck in their first moments of playing time. Aiden Davis, we saw, got injured on his first play. Noah Johns fumbled on his first play. And now we have Jason Stark with a pick, and now Ball State is going to take the lead here. The two straight touchdowns, a 14-yard touchdown pass. It'll be 14 to 10 with the extra point. See how the Bulldogs can respond. They are the defending champions. And Stark is still in that quarterback. I'm not sure what happened to Montanez. Stark's going to throw it up again. Double coverage deflected and picked off again. It's Williams going up the left sideline. Martinez tracks him down at the 39. So two straight passes from Jason Stark are picked off. Now, he is the future of this program. Noel Montanez is a sophomore, and we're going to expect him to be gone after uh, season number three as Avery Anderson gets dropped for the sack. Owens on the sack. Second down and 16. Anderson picked off this time. Tadian Moss has it, and that is his seventh career interception. He also had 44 tackles last year, 
Uh, one pick six and 17 pass deflections. He was a beast in coverage. And he gets his first pick of his sophomore season. Here's Brandon Allen. Montanez is back in. And what a spin move. Brandon Allen still going, fighting for every yard. Picks up 15 more yards. Look at his career stats. 2,367 yards, 36 touchdowns. Insane numbers. And they're going to keep feeding the beast. Allen up the middle, picks up 12 more yards. He's so fast, he's running in front of his blockers. First down to 10. Montanez. Deep shot down the right sideline. It's caught by McCoy for the touchdown. And the Bryant Bulldogs will take the lead back. 42-yard bomb to the number two wide receiver, or number three wide receiver, excuse me. We have yet to see Snoopy Tucker. And here's Avery Anderson being sacked again by Owens. We may have to elevate him to subscriber player status uh, next season if he ends up staying, because that guy's a monster as well. Anderson, play action. Left side, and it's caught by Wilson in double coverage. Tatum drags him down inside the 45-yard line. Play action again. Anderson over the middle, connects with Bryant for another first down, but there is a flag, and that will bring him back 10 yards, making it first down and 20, holding on Thomas. They'll back him up to their own 48-yard line. Ruben Blueberry also injured his elbow on the play. This is the first time we've seen him today. He had 11 sacks last year, two fumbles recovered, and 21 tackles for a loss. He was a monster. Right side, TD Moss deflects it, and Tatum has the pick, returning it up to the 26-yard line. So the secondary rebounding after a couple touchdown passes on him uh, cons on consecutive plays, basically. But we do have a three and out here from Bryant. Ball State back on offense, deep shot down the right side, caught by Bryant all the way to the 30-yard line with just 10 seconds left. And they do end up kicking a field goal here, but it is no good as time expires. And we head into the locker rooms as the half is over. So Bryant, the defending national champions on top of the 13th ranked Ball State Cardinals, 17 to 14 here in the third quarter. Anderson right side, this pass is almost picked off by Cy Summers. Beard has it, breaking a couple tackles. Cy Summers finally gets him out of bounds. Anderson in the shotgun. He's going to throw it again. And a nice pass over the middle to Pitts. That'll get them another first down. We've seen Pitts have a couple nice catches here today. Anderson to throw again. Pressure and finds Davis open inside the five-yard line. Down to the one. Now second and goal from the one. Goal line formation. And they go play action. Wide open is Wilson. Tadian Moss got pushed to the back of the end zone somehow. Not very good coverage on his part. Uh, here is Brandon Allen getting a carry as the Bulldogs look to take the lead back from the Cardinals. 21-17 is the score. Third down and four. Allen up the middle, finds a crease, gets the first down, and more still going to the 43-yard line. He's averaging eight yards per carry today on 13 attempts. Fourth down and seven, though. Bulldogs going for it, and Wilcox has the reception for the first down. All the way to the 31-yard line. That'll end the third quarter. Get your fours up. We have a really close game here as Brandon Allen breaks loose again, getting the first down inside the 15. The Ball State looking for the upset, looking for the first ever defeat of Bryant. But look at Brandon Allen. Oh, my goodness. He finds the end zone. What an unbelievable effort. Bottled up in the backfield, escapes with two moves here, a nice juke. And a spin move, getting him to the outside, finding the end zone. What a play from the Heisman runner-up. 24-21 now, Bryant back on top. Anderson, deep shot, deflected. Cy Summers has the pick. Going up the left sideline, following blockers. Still going. Tight rope act, and he finds the end zone for the pick six. Cy Summers. Oh, my goodness, he's so fun to watch. He had a pick six last year as well. That's his fourth career interception. My goodness, what a return after the pick. Great blocking downfield by his teammates, springing him free. 31-21, Ball State goes three and out after that. So Bryant with all the momentum here. And Brandon Allen gets another carry. Left side, a lot of space in front of him. Brandon Allen has the speed, and he is gone. 80-yard touchdown here for Brandon Allen. This game has been busted wide open after the Cy Summers pick. It's now 38-21. Bryant starting to pull away pretty quickly here in the fourth quarter. And Brandon Allen just turns on the afterburners, and you're not going to catch him. 
Fourth down and five for the Cardinals. Avery Anderson hit as he throws, but finds Pitts. And Pitts again in the open field down inside the 20 yard line. Almost 300 yards passing here today for Avery Anderson. And that was just a mix up in coverage. The defensive backs bumped into each other. But Tidian Moss with great track speed catches him from behind. Fourth down and four here. Avery Anderson on fire. Looking to throw it. He's hit as he throws. That is Reuben Blueberry. No, it's Divine Adams who forces the incomplete pass. And Bryant takes over. Turnover on downs. Third and 17 here for the Bulldogs. Jason Stark is in again. Rolling out right side. Throws it up. Here's A.J. Jordan. The first sighting of him. And he jukes a couple guys out. Getting it up to the 43-yard line. So Bryant running this clock out. Players of the game. Wilson for Ball State. Two touchdown catches. Brandon Allen over 200 rushing yards here today. And a 38-21 victory. It was a very close game until we reached the fourth quarter. We had a huge play from Cy Summers. A pick six giving them a 10-point lead. And then out of nowhere, Brandon Allen finally breaks one loose for an 80-yard score. Let's go ahead and take a look. At the Discord pick them. Everybody that picked the Bulldogs to win it. Uh, Jet Christie, Tom Schaefer, Colin Northrup, Jay Balmer, MJ Gator Jr., Chris Numa, Jarmel Lewis, Wooly Madden, Jack Brown, Jason Stark, Jada Streets, Noah Regeer, Zoomer Speed, Tyler Chandler, Quasi Sands, Xavier Wilson, Seth Maddox, Joseph Lozano, Mason Smith, Emmanuel Wise, Alexander Connor, Jacob Coleman, Zach Pryor, Bryson Shields, Nick Hall, and Jay Washington all guessed it correctly. Bryant with a 21-point fourth quarter to just pull away in the end. And that is what champions do. They find a way to win it when it matters the most. Fourth quarter, they shut out the Cardinals. Monson has two touchdown passes today. Jason Stark with two picks. Uh, one of them was kind of iffy. The other one he threw into double coverage. Uh, Monson has sacked twice. Montanez last year, 28 touchdowns, 17 picks. He also had 8 rushing touchdowns. He had a great season for them. And 2,753 passing yards. And it looks like he's on track to do similar numbers that he did in his freshman season. Brandon Allen, of course, 13 broken tackles today. Only one 20-plus yard run. And that was the 80-yarder. My goodness. Diego Martinez, first career touchdown reception. And I believe that was his only catch. Not a bad day for the three-star tight end. 70 overall, number 88. He's a big target. He's basically the same exact height and weight as LJ Telfer. So a lot of big targets here for Montanez and Stark to throw to for the next couple years. Kenneth Harrington allows a sack today, just the third of his career. He had 92 pancakes last season, two sacks allowed. And Brandon Allen apparently allowed a sack as well. Tidian Moss and Cy Summers both with five tackles. Most of the Cy Summers tackles were big hits. So, I mean, he's a, he's a monster. I love watching him play. I love usering him. He's just so fun to play. Every time you have a chance to tackle somebody with him, it just, it's so easy to get a big hit. I love it. He had a pick six as well today. Uh, Diego Martinez had four tackles on special teams as well. My goodness. Freshman tight end all over the field today. Five tackles for a loss for this defense. Two sacks for Joe Owens. He is a junior. Um, I'm hoping he stays for his senior year so we can elevate him to subscriber player status just because of how great he is. He was fantastic last season. Four pass deflections for Stafford Smith. Blueberry, Devine Adams had one. Tatey and Moss. Look at all these pass deflections. Avery Anderson was having a rough time. Completing passes today. Defensive touchdown. Pick six for Cy Summers. Kicking. Alan Coleman, one of one today. 41 yarder by the skin of his teeth. I'm so excited to see kickers make field goals this year. I can't wait to see what Juco transfer kicker Quasi Sands does for the Jacksonville Dolphins. He's by far the best kicker overall wise in this entire series. Uh, nothing special on returns today, just an 8-yard bar return for LJ Telfer, and that's why you guys didn't really see any returns. Players of the game, Brandon Allen, Cy Summers, Noel Montanez, Wilson, Anderson, and Williams for the Cardinals. They will drop in the rankings. Bryant will remain number one unless something crazy happens. Our next game, number 24, Hawaii, the Warriors. 
travel to take on the 25th ranked UC Davis Aggies. They're looking to get some redemption here after that loss to Fresno State in week one. A lot of people thought they should have won it. Maybe they should have. But a little bit of mistakes cost them the game. And that was it. But I'll see you guys with that one soon. Take it easy.